Hello my beautiful hammerhead and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna talk about something that is very near and dear to me. Um, I will package it like a pizza. We have the doughy part which is obviously not the best thing and then we have the topping which is the best thing. The doughy part right now is this article by Games Workshop, the 2024 pricing update, which is a terrible, terrible timing. It just is. Price updates are always terrible, but this is not only an update, it's a rise all throughout between 3 and 5% and in Sweden and Norway between 8 and 14%. I'm not gonna dwell on that um, because I don't want to talk corpo that much right now. Because they're saying that a couple of things are not going to be um, raising in their, uh, rising in their prices because those are gonna be, well, raised in a stealthy kind of way. When new pots for paints come out, the prices will go up. New battle tomes will be a little bit more expensive than they are right now. This is just the way of things. But don't fret, my friend. We have better solutions for this, because this is the opportunity for us to get involved into different games. And the one I'm talking about is obviously the one that is, again, near and dear to me, it is Parabellum's Conquest. This is the main page. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it really, really quick, because not only do you have fear, the rules and the army builder and assembly uh, instructions for free, also for both of the games, the rank and file game, Last Argument of Kings, and Conquest First Blood is the skirmish game. In the rules section, here in Last Argument of Kings, you have all the core rules with all the updates as PDFs. You have, if you are somewhere around the world and English is not your native language, you have the community translations, which are checked and double-checked not only by the community, but by Parabellum themselves. Because it's far, far easier to have the community involved, because the community is ultimately the people who are playing it. And then, of course, um, a little bit more helpy things here and there. So then, let's talk about how do you build an army. Because I wanted to do this today either way, it's just a really good segue to get you introduced to a game that is by far more community friendly. So we are here on the shop. You can uh, look here for EU and the world and or USA and Canada because of shipping reasons, of course. And uh, when you go to start here, you have all the faction starter boxes. It's either for the faction itself or for the first blood skirmish game. You might say now 160 euros or your regional equivalent. That seems like a lot. And don't be scared because you're, uh, well, I, you know me. I'm the one who says support what you love, don't bash what you hate. But right now we have to do this comparison. So I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, because I want to support Conquest. We have the comparison to Games Workshops, Combat Patrols and Spearheads. You might say 160 euros is more than we have for Combat Patrol or Spearhead, which is fair, yes. But uh, let's just say you want to start a Dwagum army. Dwagum are the dwarves and we have this inside the box. And uh, if we look at this right now, this seems like an okayish kind of box. We have a hero, we have three units and a monster in there. For the savings, um, not all uh, starter boxes are equal in their savings. Yes, not all the point values are equal, but you get at least 750 points per starter box up to 1000 points. And if you play 1500 points, you have at least half an army already with the box. And I chose the Dragon because not only I want to buy this one <laughs> next, it's also because it's a little bit more confusing for newcomers here. Because we have 
the character model, which is the Ray Drake Rider. And usually the heroes are, as for an example, the... Oh no, we will come to that. But only uh, the Ironclad Drake for the Dracom is 130 euros, which is also included in this box. So for 30 euros more, you get the hero. No, let's just say for 5 euros more, you get uh, three units, which is fantastic. Okay, but yeah, the army builder. You can choose... Um, oh, sorry, I'm covering up with my face here. Let me do it like this. Oh, you don't see it. On the top left, where my mouse <laughs> is, you can choose between First Blood and Last Argument of Kings. Last Argument of Kings is played with 2000 points, the regular, but I prefer 1500 points for every game. And First Blood is played with 800 points. Here you can browse your factions. That means by read more, you will see the lore. Let's just say the Vadrun, and you have the page for all the Vadrun lore, the subfactions, the forces, and everything else, which is amazing. You can also view the faction, and let's just say you want to compare the Blooded and the Braves, and you can do it side by side, which is fantastic, which is a beautiful thing. So again, let's look at the army building. The Dragon Army, because it's a little bit, um, well, confusing because of the hero. We start a warband. This is a beautiful thing. Now we have here again the Ray Drake Rider, which is not an option here. We click Hold Ray. We make him a Warlord. Because that is, of course, oh, very, very important. Uh, you need a Warlord. But also because um, a thing which we will see in a moment. So in that box we have Initiates. Let's just copy and paste that for, be, uh, for time reasons, of course. We have Fireforged in there. And we have the Ironclad Drake. We are already at 790 points for this box. Then we look at, again, the Hold Ray. The mastery is the Burgund Ray. Because in the lore, uh, Hold Rays are basically the kings. Burgund Rays are a little bit more above that. Then we have here Burgund Ray Mount. And we say, this is the Mount. And you have four units in your army, which is beautiful. And you see 815 points and all the units don't have upgrades as of yet. And you can do this with all the armies, which is really, really beautiful. You can just go back, prepare for war, <laughs> and then you can write your army lists. And even then, uh, I haven't shown you the army... Um, army rules. Uh, I forgot that, sorry. You can do that here. That is the symbol for that. Army rules, relics and masteries. And even if you are unsure what something does, you can always see it in the presence of the Mnemnonsas, or however it is pronounced, I am so sorry. You can see the special rule, which is also, again, it's so beautiful, it's so good. The only thing that you should be aware of, if there is no picture, the unit is already playable. You can proxy it, but there is no model as of yet. This is a bad <laughs> example, I'm sorry. The Lineage Prideborn is about to be released. Uh, so there is, again, uh, the abilities like Watch and Learn, Hunter Killer Teams, Ruthless Sovereign. You can click on all of them and you know what it will does. So, very, very beautiful thing. And again, let's just go in and make a small army list. Again, let's just say it's for the Spires. We don't care about the point value right now, because I want to show you something. We take a Lineage Highborn, make it the Warlord. No upgrades, I just want to show you something. We take this. We have 490 points with seven models, which again is 
uh, well, it's a beautiful thing. So when we click PDF, uh, wait, before I know this was the list setting. Uh, yes, this was the army rules. Yes, we click PDF. <laughs> I was kind of confused right now. I am sorry. So we have here everything we need. We have every rule. We have, um, yeah, everything. I don't have to say what this is. Um, and then again, you can print this out. And even if you are unsure for a rule, uh, for a rule, you have it here immediately. You don't have to look through the core rulebook or anything, which you can buy, yes. But again, also the rules are free PDF or as you can see it here, you can download it on your iPhone or your Google phone, which is again, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I must admit, I do this all the time. I'm sitting there a lot of times and just theory craft army lists where I know they will be smashed to the ground <laughs> because they are bad, but it's fun to write army lists. And again, it's for free. So this is how you make army lists or how you build your army. Again, the entry seems a little bit steep, but you get half an army in a box and then you can just pick and choose the things you want. And even if you don't want what's inside the boxes, there are so many beautiful things in the world of conquest. You will find something for yourself. And even then you saw that the point values are really, really generous. And I reiterate, it's a beautiful thing. But not as beautiful as you are, my friend. So please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more wargaming almost every day. And by that, I of course mean like and subscribe. <laughs> but until then, have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.